Okay, I have a Briggs & Stratton engine here and I'm gonna be replacing the priming bulb. As you can see, when I push this in, it does not pop back out and it's a, you know, kind of a pain to pry it out and all that and it's gotten to the point where it's almost worthless. Also dry rotting and whatnot. So uh, I picked this guy up off of Amazon, of course. And um, yeah, just a replacement. I think it was like six or seven bucks and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna change it out. There are two slots in the side of the housing here, and these hold the two tabs for your priming bulb. You can see here on the new one what the tabs look like. So you got a tab here and a tab here, and then your actual rubber unit goes up through there, and then it kind of makes a seal on the back side. So once we pull this old one out, we're gonna push this one back in there, and it should click into place. So you're gonna take your screwdriver, push in towards this way, and then also pry and push out this way. Just keep in mind, you might break it if it's been in there for a long time. There it goes, once it pops out a little bit, you can kind of get your screwdriver behind it and push it. That one's easy to get to, the one on the other side is not as easy because you have the, the gas port but if you can't get that, what you can do, oh, kind of went, but what you can do is, is just push the other side out and kind of pry it and pull it. Or if you have to break the plastic ring, you can do that as well. Take a screwdriver and a wet cloth or something and just clean this out. Get all the schmutz out. Probably got years of dried up grass and who knows what else. So once that's clean, you should get a nice seal on your new bulb. So again, take your new priming bulb, put it inside of the clip, the metal or the plastic ring, so it looks like that. And then go ahead and push it in. Make sure your tabs are lined up with your two holes on either side. Just make your life easier so you don't have to try to twist it inside of there. I don't know if you can't even twist it inside. Once you got it into position, kind of push it in evenly on both sides. And it should snap into place. We'll listen for that snap. There's one snap. And there's the second snap. And there you have it. That is how you replace your priming bulb. I'll go ahead and put the link for the new priming bulb in the description. And I hope this video helped you out.